Hello, friends. This is Tanya from Dolly Day's Nursery, and I'm here with little Aaliyah. Little Aaliyah. And she has to get an outfit changed because she has to get her PJs on. So, um, let's see. Am I going to be in the way here? Probably not. Again, oh, that flash. The flash is so bright. Um, but it's kind of dusk right now, and we don't have very good lighting. <clears throat> I brought my uh, lamp, my floor lamp, um, from the camper today, picturing it like this, on this, and um, the whole top part was broken. Uh, I don't know how that happened. It wasn't always like it. I don't know if someone went in my camper and and broke it on me, but it was completely fine. The last time I stayed there. And now today, the top is snapped off. <laughs> this outfit is just a wee bit big on her. It's a zero to three month. Um, but in saying that, it, it's not so big on her that it wasn't uh, working, because it was. It was just nice and cuddly. Hey, oh my gosh. Now the neckline is not overly big. Oh my golly, you got your hair all messed up. This little girl got quite a bit of attention this week. <laughs> I, uh, I had so much, so many good reactions last week when I had her with me when I went to work. Um... They loved her so much. I thought, well, I brought her with me again last week because um, I find that if I don't have any reborns around me, I find that if I'm trying to root hair or anything, I just don't have the same get up and go to do it. I don't know. It's like having a re reborn around me. Uh, it feels inspirational somehow. So anyway, I decided that I would bring her back again with me this week. And, um, and it worked. I uh, did quite a bit of rooting on uh, the Samantha head. And I think this week I will have her done. Because I can't just sit and root her hair endlessly at my own rate. Um, I can only do it after my work hours are done. And uh, I'm going to put this on her. I don't I hope it's not too big. It's a zero to three month. But it's blue and it has whales and dolphins and jellyfish and seahorse and other little schools of fish. What else? Anything else on here? So it's very cute. And of course it's trimmed with blue, pink. Um, so in doing that, I, uh, I have that extra little bit of inspirational. Ooh. Oh, my battery's too low for the flash. Great. Okay, we will deal with the shadows. <laughs> um, so that that's great. I'm able to just, you know, lay her beside me and I'll look over at her once in a while. And um, she just looks so sweet. It inspires me to keep doing more. Uh, and then... 
um, you have to understand where I stay all week is a um, it's a facility uh, that allows patients who are receiving cancer treatment um, to stay there for a very small fee. Um, and they receive their meals and all. So it's, you know, you, you check in the same as if you were checking into a hotel. And you check out basically the same thing. You have to be out 11 in the morning. And you don't check in until like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Because that gives them time to um, clean, oops, to clean the rooms. Oh, you don't need green headband on, do you? No headband now, bedtime. And um, so that's where I stay all week long with my client who is um, both receiving uh, radiation therapy for her cancer as well as th three days a week uh, she goes on dialysis. And um, so I'm with her through all that and beyond and um, so this past week of course uh, some of the workers shared with some of the other workers um, about the dolls that I make and um, then I was able to show them on my phone certain dolls and of course then another lady spoke up and said well you should see the one she has down in the room <laughs> So I have every day, two to three times a day, this is what I go through. And then now this past week, um, different people who are staying at the, this facility, it's called Daffodil Place. Um, it's through uh, the Canadian Cancer Society. And... Uh, so here they are now all sharing with each other and every time they would see me, uh, whether it was breakfast, lunch, supper, or, you know, uh, snacks before bed, um, they were like, did you see the baby she has down in the room? And then they'd say, oh, can you go get her? So I would go get her and then I'd bring her up and then everybody's holding her and passing her around and just seeing the smiles on the faces. Excuse me. <laughs> Can't help but uh, get a little emotional. The faces of these men and women, <laughs> both men and women alike, um, going through such a difficult time with their cancer and their treatments and to see them hold her and to be smiling and to be talking about how real she looks and how she feels to hold and then to go on talking about grandchildren and daughters or nieces that would love a baby like this and it's just it warms my heart and now I feel like I can't go back <laughs> tomorrow without having a reborn with me because I think they're going to be disappointed if I say, oh, I didn't bring one this time. So now I think I'm just going to have to keep bringing her with me and uh, because this is the one that they keep looking for. Uh, when I show the pictures, different people would speak up and say, no, that's not the one that you have here. Get the one you have here. <laughs> so... I just feel like right now that I am uh, I'm doing something um, helping someone smile and so I thought that uh, you know um, for many people it's just a doll um, but many people will say oh yeah I've seen those before um, and still there are others who've said well I've never seen anything like this one and so I just, uh, I have three more weeks of going back there and um, 
for the time that I'm going to be going here, I think I will just continue to bring her with me because they just seem to enjoy her so much. And um, quite possibly before I finish, um, I may, it, it was asked actually, um, if I would bring more than one and uh, kind of do a display, um, kind of set it up for a couple of hours so that for anybody who would like to come to the lounge and um, hold them or talk about them, learn a little more about them. Um, so I just might do that. Um, you know, not, not for the reasons of getting orders or anything like that, but just simply because it makes them smile. When they have such a difficult road and uh, to be able to help someone smile. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to be able to help someone smile through the difficulties. And uh, even if it is only for the 10 or 15 minutes that, they, uh, that they're looking at this little doll that I've created, um, it, it means the world to me and uh, that can't be replaced and just knowing that uh, those few minutes is you know bringing us into their story so uh, that's just fantastic so she will continue to go with me and uh, maybe there's days that she won't be brought into the room but maybe there's days that she'll be making more than one trip um, Anything is worth it just to uh, help them smile and uh, take their minds off what what they have to face for the next day or maybe even for their appointment in an hour. Who knows? But anyway, um, she's certainly looking very cute in this uh, sleeper. And uh, so anyway, I just thought that I would share that. It's a, a different career for me. Um, going from being a clergy uh, with all that pastoral care and uh, walking through sicknesses and funerals and everything with people, um, along with weddings, of course, and baby christenings. But uh, now to uh, be walking through um, side by side, holding someone's hand, um, consoling them and doing the most, um, probably the smallest acts of kindness for someone else, whether it is to, you know, help them with their socks or wash their hair. Um, it's, uh, something that, you know, is very meaningful to me and I'm very glad that I've had this opportunity to be a, a personal care attendant um, to this woman. And um, so that's all a, a brand new road for me. So um, anyway, um, she enjoys her too. <laughs> she likes to hold her. And uh, I do take some clothes with me so that I can change her. She likes to see her changed and all that. But anyway, we will continue uh, on this journey, and um, I'm sure that there will be, you know, more clients in my future as well, but uh, this is definitely a special time um, for my first time ever um, working in this line of work, but I'm very grateful to God that uh, I've had this opportunity. So uh, be sure to remember all those people who are going through these difficult times with cancer. Um, my sister-in-law is having a major surgery coming up in a couple of weeks. And uh, she has to leave the province for it. And uh, this is her second bout of cancer and her third surgery. And it's just uh, 
pretty scary. But um, there's a lot of prayers going up for her as well. So uh, remember all those people who are facing those hard times. I see so much every day. And it's not just the older people. There's younger people as well. And um, there's a young woman there that uh, she don't spend much time out amongst everybody else. Um, but I don't think she's even my age. I think she's younger than me. And uh, she's going through her treatments as well. And uh, she has her hair gone. So I don't know if that's just another reason why she don't mingle among the people. But uh, there's definitely some very sad cases. So my video is now becoming a very sad video. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, you know... Um, I look around and I always think to myself, there's always someone with a, a more difficult situation than I have. And uh, this has definitely um, been revealing some, some things to me as I've been working with this woman and, um, and seeing so many people. You know, the happy days are when they're done. That's definitely something to celebrate. And uh, I've seen four or five people this week alone that, uh, you know, people were wishing them well and saying, you know, we hope you never have to come back here again and uh, take care and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, but they've, they've run the race. They've done their 30 treatments or however many treatments they had to do. And uh, so... You know, um, we'll soon be halfway through with ours as well. So God is good and God is getting us there. And uh, he definitely gets me through every day. So uh, I ask that you keep me and my client in your prayers because, you know, some days are not very easy. But um, we both definitely know that God is in control and that he is the strength that gets us through each day. So anyway, I uh, hope you have a good evening. Um, Motivational Monday is tomorrow, so you can look for that video as well. And uh, hope you take care, have a good week, um, and uh, we'll have some more videos next weekend. Sorry, my video is gone so dark now without the, vi the, the uh, without the flash. But anyway, hope you have a good day and uh, good health as well. Take care.